Good day to you people, my name is Mohit and today I'll demonstrate the use of snippets in Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. What exactly are snippets? Snippets are a ready-made uh, chunk of uh, HTML JavaScript codes that can be inserted you know, time and time again, uh, over and over again, reusable uh, pieces of codes. Okay. Uh, once we um, start using them, you'll get a better idea. First we'll use them and then we'll create them. Okay, so uh, let's hit uh, create new HTML. This is the code view, this is the design area. Okay, guys, so f to access the snippets panel, I'm gonna hit window, I'm gonna go down to snippets. For guys who actually worked with uh, code snippets in Action Script 3, understand what I'm trying to do here. I'm gonna use ready made pieces of HTML or JavaScript codes in my document. Now this here is the uh, snippets panel. From here I can pull up the appropriate useful codes. Let's say I want to use a ready-made uh, header. So I'm going to go down to legacy and then uh, go inside headers and then pull up uh, header. Now guys, just above the uh, snippets panel, you have the snippets preview window. It allows you to see what the header is going to look like. So I'm just going to pull it up onto the design view. Just a drag and a drop. So this is how the header is looking. Similarly, let me pull up a footer as well. Let's say this one. Okay. So guys, now that you've understood what is uh, snippets how to use snippets let's create one and there are two ways of doing it first let me reset this panel then I'm gonna right click anywhere in the white blank space and say new folder call it marquee because the example that I'm giving you uh, we, we will be working with right now will be marquee and uh, for guys who are good with HTML understand that marquee makes an object move left to right right to left top to bottom bottom to top make it alternate make it bounce uh, so on and so forth so once I create a folder I'm gonna hit this button which looks like a plus sign and when once you hover over this button it says a new snippet I'm gonna click it and uh, it prompts me for a name also if you see guys there are two kinds of snippet types a wrap selection and insert block I'm gonna hit insert block first a much easier way to do it and then give the snippet a name I'm gonna call it marquee very appropriately and uh, in the description I'll just say makes the object move in the preview type I can keep it either at design or code if, if I keep it at code in the preview window here you'll be able to see the code if I keep it to the design view you'll just be able to see the output not the code so uh, it's entirely up to you what do you like so for the moment I'm, I, I'm happy to keep it uh, to code okay and uh, in the insert code area I need to dump some HTML code I already have it written I'm just going to do a copy and a paste here and say okay so guys I've just created my first snippet I'm gonna drag it onto the design view and then let's preview in Firefox before that just notice guys this is the code preview this area shows the code preview I'm gonna save the file call it uh, marquee and guys this is the publish preview of the snippet that I just created
it bounces off the edge of the page. Says please visit www.adobecs5.in for more useful utilities. Cool. No problems. Okay. Now let's learn the second way of doing the same thing. I'm gonna get rid of both the headers now. So um, I'm gonna click on the plus sign once again which is to create a new snippet and this time I'll keep the snippet type as a wrap selection. Okay, I'll give it a name of uh, let's say um, Marky one and the disc in the description I'll say moves the object and in the insert before and after I'll be putting the HTML opening and closing tags let's see how I do it I go back to the same code now this is the marquee as well as h3 opening tag I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna paste it here go back and then dump the closing h3 header 3 and the closing marquee tags in the insert after text area so in the insert before text area guys please insert the opening HTML tags in the insert after please insert the closing HTML tags so it reads like this marquee behavior is equal to alternate h3 and in the insert after forward slash h3 forward slash marquee now that should be enough and uh, I'm happy to keep the preview type as code although I can keep it to design which will show the output not the code I'm gonna say okay and let's see how I use it in the design view I type something mm, I say www dot adobe cs5 dot n I'm gonna highlight highlight the selection and double click on marquee one and notice guys this has actually turned into a h3 this piece of text turned into a h3 I'm gonna take a published preview cool isn't it so guys this is how you actually create snippets in Dreamweaver reusable pieces of codes okay and this guys is the code preview for this specific snippet I, I hope you learned something good today You're gonna use it in your document over and over again I'll see you next time have a good time bye bye